Hey, Matthew Swinerton here, and I'm here with Saul Littman. How are you doing, Saul? Matthew, I'm doing great. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you for taking the time. So today's a big day. Pleasure. Today but, is a big day. Yeah, actually. but we're not going to talk about, about now. I want to talk about how did you come up with the idea of a dog food company? Because it does seem a little out of the, the normal Saul Littman road. You know what? The, the, the road really for us and our team is just to identify problems and see if we can solve them. And that's, you know, dog food is a huge problem for us. And uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the truth is we were at Yahoo and we were doing a bunch of research on family communication, communication in the household. And one of the things that kept coming up in households was that people actually had a tough time communicating about feeding the dog. They were overfeeding the dog. They had to text each other every day. Did you feed the dog? Did you not feed the dog? And so we thought, how could we solve this problem? And that's, that was the genesis of Yeah Dog. And at first we just wanted to make a, a Bluetooth enabled scoop that notified everybody that the dog was fed and an app that went with it. And then we realized the real opportunity was to tie that in with actually the food itself. Actual food, yeah. And so we went, just like every startup goes on a journey. We went on a crazy journey to figure out what it was that we were gonna be. And I don't even think we're done with that journey. I think we're just beginning it's that just journey. just beginning, yeah. And uh, which sometimes stresses me out because I'm like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but at the same time, we're really dedicated to trying to solve this problem, which is to have healthier dogs in this world. You know, I know this sounds like, um, you know, 50% of all dogs in the US are overweight. And overweight dogs live, just like us, they live less, which is why I have to lose a few. You know, you're not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, overweight dogs actually live two years less than a properly fed dog. And so the whole industry right now is geared. If you look at the back of a bag of dog food, and you read, you know, the, the feeding guidelines, they're always way too much. And the reason they're way too much is because this is an industry wants that wants your more. dog to eat more. And so we've been working really hard to think about every individual dog, right? The, you go to a, a store, like a big store, you know, where, where you don't know, like Pet Specialty is awesome, like Wishbone's an awesome mm -hmm. store, Westside, Farm and Feed, awesome store. They'll get to know you, they'll get to know your dog. Yeah. But in general, in America, you actually never get to know as a dog food company, you never get to know the actual dog, the family, yeah. the health issues, all those things. So we decided we were gonna make a really personalized experience where people could tell us about their dog online when they register. We can figure out what the health needs of that dog are, and then we can customize a feeding plan for that dog. And it's an amazing thing, actually, because no one's ever done it. It's crazy to me that no one has ever done yeah. this. And so we have the technology to wrap around that. We do a thing called predictive delivery also. We know so much about your dog. We're actually able to predictively deliver you more food so that you never run out. Um, that's one of the things that we do that we really pride ourselves That's on. nice. So it's not just like every month you get this amount of money no. but it, and this amount of dog food. Every dog is a different yeah. size. But if you look at feeding guidelines, it's crazy. You know, feeding guidelines are about uh, just based on your dog's weight. They're not based on, they're not like, oh, is your dog overweight? Does your dog, what's your dog's ideal weight? No, it's just like your dog weighs 40 pounds, feed your dog this much. Well, if we did that, you know, like let's say, uh, like you and I, we're almost the same height, right? Should, yeah. <laughs> but look at, I got all this. Yeah. I should eat a lot less. You can eat a lot more. When you go no, to I the parish, yeah. Yeah. you get to get the beer and the fries. Right. See, I don't get to do that. But that's because we're rational adults. We get to make decisions about what we eat. I should eat more salads. You should drink more beer, right? I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. And so, um, And so what we try to do with Yeah Doggy is make that experience customized so that we really can think about your dog's health and try to solve that really important problem that this industry has totally ignored. That's amazing. So, people can go online. They can start the process right now of ordering, you know, ordering the food. But what is coming up today? What's the so today new we're big launching, excitement? Today we're launching a really cool thing. It's called Yeah Doggy Fresh. Okay. And uh, it's really cool. Um, basically, it's fresh, human grade food, but it comes uh, uncooked in a bag. 
to your house and it's targeted for people that have an Instant Pot. Do you have an Instant Pot? Yeah, my wife loves it. Yeah, so an Instant Pot, of course, very, very popular. Mm -hmm. Big seller on all the big, prime big, days. Yeah. All, all the millennials. All the millennials, yeah, yeah. not just the millennials. No, a lot yeah. of people yeah. have an Instant Pot. And so what this is, it's a meal kit. It gets delivered to your door. You throw it in the Instant Pot for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much you get. And then you have a week's worth of fresh human grade dog food. And so, you know, there's no fillers in this. There's no, you know, even with this food, we try to do our best, but even with this food, there's ingredients in here. I mean, kibble's awesome, but it's processed. This is fresh, human-grade food, totally not processed, totally healthy. It's all formulated by a, uh, by a vet nutritionist who's done over 3,000 homemade formulations. So if you have, like, a dog with a specific problem, this is, like, the expert. On, on that thing. So, but dog owners have never had that opportunity before. We call them pet parents. Pet parents, okay, not owners, parents. Right. Okay. No, parents. no one's ever done this before. Yeah. Actually. And uh, it's a really cool, I, I used to do that too all the time. Dog <laughs> owners, yeah. it's, not, it's not the right term, dude. Pet parents, we're pet parents now. That's true. Um, no, the, uh, no, no one's ever done a meal kit for dogs, period. And so we're the first people to do that. We have an exclusive relationship actually with Instant Pot. So we're really proud of that because wow. uh, you know they're they're an awesome company that's trying to deliver really cool products uh, for their for their system and for their um, device and you know uh, if you go to the Instant Pop Facebook group, it's like an awesome community. There's discussion every single day about how do I use this thing to cook for my dog, and so we think we're going to really fill that niche. So uh, this is the India Go Go campaign, right? It's an Indie Go Go. Yeah, campaign. I said yeah. that wrong. Yes, that's okay. So, so yeah, there will be a link. A, you know, you can you can um, contribute, support today. Yeah, no, we need you to back. <clears throat> we need you to back this, because um, you know, for us, we're gonna we're gonna make this no matter what. But to have the support of our local community and have people backing um, this this yeah. totally awesome new cool. Um, product would, would means a lot to us. You heard that, Santa Cruz? Support your local businesses. That's right. Okay, so all the links are under the video. Saul, so, thanks so much. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it.